These are some of the Russian presidential candidates Vladimir Putin is expected to trounce. Ksenia Sobchak is a journalist and the daughter of Putin's political mentor. Vladimir Zhirinovsky has run in every post-Soviet presidential election in Russia but one. Pavel Grudinin made his fortune growing strawberries at a former Soviet collective farm. Grigory Yavlinsky is a veteran liberal politician who said he might join Putin's government after the election. Sobchak's father, former St. Petersburg Mayor Anatoly Sobchak, was Putin's boss in the 1990s. She rose to national fame as a socialite and reality TV host. Some called her Russia's Paris Hilton. A professed proponent of liberal values, Sobchak is running as a protest candidate and says a vote for her is a vote against the current system. But her critics say she's running with the Kremlin's blessing and that she's lending legitimacy to a rigged poll. Grudinin, 57, touts his farm's blend of socialist and capitalist principles as a model for Russian economic development. He was relatively unknown until the communists tapped him for the ballot. Grudinin harshly criticizes the political system Putin presides over, but he generally avoids aggressive attacks on the incumbent. Some see Grudinin's candidacy as a Kremlin effort to boost voter interest and turnout, but he has faced fierce media coverage over his wealth recently, which some take as a sign that the Kremlin fears Grudinin could garner too many votes. Zhirinovsky leads the Liberal Democratic Party of Russia, but he's not much of a liberal. He's made his name with crackpot, bellicose, and often offensive statements. Many Russians view him with benign bemusement. But Zhirinovsky garnered 6.2% in the 2012 election against Putin. Yevlinsky has been a prominent political player in Russia since the 1990s and has run for president on several occasions. He concedes there's no way he'll beat Putin, but he says participation is important and has criticized calls for a boycott. Yevlinsky is a polarizing figure among Russian liberals. Many accuse him of playing along with the Kremlin, and reports suggest he could be Putin's next chief negotiator on the Ukraine conflict, a position he says he would take a serious look at.